See you at the crossroads, crossroads, crossroads. See you at the crossroads. Don't you just love a crossroads fight between two semi irrelevant heavyweights? Count me in. I love this shit. Derek Chisora versus Arthur Spielker is set for the Dillian White versus Oscar Rivas undercard. Does this fight add anything to the card in terms of making it pay per view worthy? In my opinion, no. I don't think this card is pay per view worthy. But I do have some type of intrigue about this bout because it really is hard to judge where either fighter is at right now. And, you know, the loser at this point really would have to leave town for good. I mean, if Derek Chisora lost to Arthur Spilka, what would that be? His 10th loss? I mean, at that point, surely Derek would be done at any sort of level, especially losing to this version of Arthur Spilka. And likewise for Spilka, the guy's been knocked out a few times. He's been stopped by Jennings, Deontay Wilder and Adam Kalnetsky. If he loses to a shop-worn version of Derek Chisora, you know, he really does slip down to high-level journeyman status in the heavyweight division. So there is a lot to play for, for both guys. You know, arguably careers are on the line here. So yeah, I do like it from that perspective. Like I said, I love a crossroads fight, but how does this fight play out? I mean, stylistically, with Derek Chisora, it can go one of two ways. It could be dull, it could be boring, if he's not up for it. But if he's up for it and, uh, you know, he's really into it, he can make for some great fights. And as for Spielka, I mean, Spielka is extremely vulnerable. He's chinny, his gas tank isn't the best, and naturally, he makes for good fights anyway. He's also quite a nice boxer. He's got good feet, quick feet, quick hands, and, you know, he can be nice to watch on the back foot. And actually, stylistically... Spielka can give Chisora problems in this fight, especially if it's Chisora who's not motivated. Chisora was actually talking about this fight a few weeks ago in an interview with IFL TV, and he seemed very disappointed that he would be fighting Arthur Spielka on this undercard. If Chisora isn't motivated, don't be surprised to see Spielka outbox Chisora for the first few rounds at least. You know, when Derek is unmotivated, when he has to chase a fight, when he's unmotivated, he can look real sloppy, real sluggish, and extremely limited, as we saw with Ajit Kabayel. You know, going into that fight, Chizora was actually the favourite. He was expected to win. Not many people were aware of Kabayel back then. And look what happened. Now, I'm not saying Spielka is as good as Kabayel, I think Spielka is extremely flawed, chinny, bad gas tank like I said, but stylistically, he's got the style to give Derek problems. It's whether he can do it for 10 or 12 rounds, however however long this fight lasts. But if Derek is unmotivated, I do believe Spielka has a slight chance in this fight. I wouldn't completely rule him out, to be honest with you. One thing I will say though, Derek, he may not be motivated now, but I believe in the in the press conferences, these two guys are going to uh, clash because Arthur Spielka is a hothead, as is Derek Chisora. I'm sure Arthur Spielka is going to go in there, talk his talk, and he'll get Derek uh, riled up. If that's the case, we could have a really fun fight. You know, Spielka, we've seen him in the past, you know, getting uh, real up and close with Deontay Wilder, talking that talk. Uh, you know, shouting the odds. He can get really into it, and we've seen that throughout his career. Look at what he come from. Spilker was a football hooligan before he was a boxer. You know, the guy is a hothead, and if you get him and Derek uh, clashing, it could make for a really good fight. Now, for Derek's sake, I do believe it favours him if both guys get at it, both guys get riled up, because to me, Derek, he thrives in that environment a lot better than Spilker does. Now, Spielka, he's no shrinking violet, but when he gets like that, he makes mistakes, as we saw against Deontay Wilder, as we saw against Adam Kalnatsky. You know, Spielka, he was feeling himself against Kalnatsky. He got too macho, he dropped his hands, and he got stopped. Spielka makes a lot of mistakes when he's feeling himself, and we've seen that result in drastic consequences for him. To me, Derek, 
he thrives under that environment a bit better. Obviously Derek, he makes a lot of mistakes defensively, but to me he just keeps his cool a little bit better and he deals with that type of situation a bit better. So if both guys are really into it and both guys have riled each other up, I do believe this fight favours Chizora in a big way. Either way, I am picking Chizora to win. But, you know, there is a level of intrigue there. In my opinion, it's not a terrible fight. Is the card pay-per-view worthy, like I said earlier? In my opinion, no. I will make a video on that separately. I'll give them a bit more time to see if they put anything new on the card. But yeah, share your thoughts below. Peace.